Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Friday, June 22nd, and welcome to our video commentary. You know, one of the most amazing things happening in the country today is what is happening to the credibility of the news media. And it's very sad to see because I believe that a free country has to have a free press, an aggressive press, a respectful press, but aggressive and willing to challenge uh, the politicians. Sometimes the press is really the only thing we have left uh, when there's corruption and, and uh, that type of thing. But what you're seeing in the media right now is such an obsession with Trump. And in many ways, they want to get Trump so badly that they end up actually hurting their own credibility and I think actually helping Trump. A good example of this is the cover of Time magazine, the latest cover, where they have Donald Trump, you know, the big guy and a little kid crying in front of him. And this is, of course, supposed to represent uh, Donald Trump's, you know, a terrible policy of separating families and children. Now, they don't tell you, of course, that this was the same policy that President Obama had and that uh, many years ago there were many photos of families being separated. But, of course, that happened under President Obama. But I think overall, when you look at the whole picture of the news media, it's not surprising to see uh, brand new information that something like half of the country doesn't believe what they see in the media. So if you're a reporter out there and you're trying to you're trying to be honest and report the truth, half of the country doesn't believe what you're writing. I don't think that's a good thing at all. I think it's actually very bad for the media. And the media can only blame itself, I think, for the situation we're in. During the Obama years, they basically gave Obama total, complete, easy coverage. It was kid gloves. I mean, they treated Obama without any difficulty. They just basically went along with Obama, always gave him the benefit of the doubt, and so on. And now they've gone to the other extreme with Trump, where they second-guess everything. They never give him the benefit of the doubt. They always question his intentions. But I think this is actually hurting the media and helping Trump. I think the biggest thing Trump has going for him right now, actually, is this very hysterical media out to get him. So if you're a member of the media, and if you want people to believe what you're saying, you better start reporting the truth. Or otherwise, you're going to find yourself in the same situation as Time Magazine, come almost completely broke. Or you're going to find yourself in the same situation as CNN, losing ratings like crazy. I mean, they've lost like 30% of their ratings over the last year. No, once again, let me tell you, I think we need a free, aggressive, and respectful press. But that's not what we have right now. We have too many uh, media organizations out to get Trump. But I think in the end, they're going to reelect him. The media is going to end up re-electing Donald Trump because of all of their hysterical coverage of Donald Trump. So anyway, that's the way it is, as they say. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, on my blog. And if today is your birthday, have a great birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.